Nano S 2.0 brings a major enhancement with the customizable signal chain. This lets you determine which devices to position in your pre and post effect slots. This update brings four different wire pedals to the pre effects section of your Nano Cortex. Each has its own distinctive character based on legendary wire designs, plus a dedicated bass wire. All of these wires can be controlled with an expression pedal connected to your Nano Cortex, giving you that authentic hands-free wire experience. I've got my expression pedal here ready to go on the floor, which I've connected and calibrated using the Cortex Cloud app. Let's start with the crying wire. Based on the Dunlop Crybaby GCB95, probably the most famous wire pedal ever made. This wire gives you that classic vocal sweep that's been used on countless records since the late 60s. Here's a blues rock riff without any wire. And with the crying wire engaged, that vocal quality really makes your guitar speak. The crying wire has a pronounced mid-range peak that sweeps through the frequency spectrum as you rock the expression pedal. In the heel position, you get that darker, throaty sound. As you move towards the toe position, it opens up with that characteristic nasal quality. The crying wah is perfect for classic rock, blues and funk. Anywhere you want that instantly recognisable wah character. Next up is the Crying Clyde wah, based on the Dunlop Crybaby Clyde McCoy. This wah has a more vocal, throaty character than the standard crying wah, with a different sweep that many prefer for lead playing. You can hear that throatier, more pronounced mid-range. This wah tends to emphasize those vocal qualities that wah pedals are famous for. The Crying Clyde has a smoother, more gradual sweep compared to the standard Crying Wah. It has a more rounded toe-down position and a darker heel-down character. <laughs> This smoother transition between positions makes it particularly well suited for expressive lead playing where subtle wire inflections can add so much feeling. The Crying Clyde is my go-to for soulful expressive lead playing where I want the wire to really sing. The Bubba Wire, based on the Dunlop Buddha Bud Wire, offers a different flavour altogether. This wire has a smoother, more organic sweep with less peak resonance than the crybaby types. You can hear it's less aggressive and more subtle. The bubba wire has a more rounded quality that works brilliantly for funk and rhythm playing. What makes the bubba wire special is its wider frequency range and lower resonance peak. It doesn't have that sharp piercing quality that some wires can have. The heel down position has more low mids than the crybaby variants, giving you a fuller tone when rocked back. The toe down position is brighter but without becoming thin or harsh. <laughs> The Bubba Wah is perfect when you want a wah that complements your playing rather than dominating it. Great for creating movement in rhythm parts. Finally, we have the Bass Wah, specifically voiced for bass guitar frequencies. Regular wahs often don't work well with bass because they can cut too much low end. The Bass Wah is designed to preserve your fundamental bass frequencies while still giving you that expressive sweep. Here's a bass line without wah. And with the bass wire engaged, you'll hear how it maintains the low end punch while adding movement. The 
The bass wah operates in a lower frequency range than guitar wahs, focusing its sweep on the mid-range that defines a bass's character without affecting the fundamental low frequencies. In the heel down position, you get a warm round tone with plenty of bottom end. As you rock forward to the toe position, you get that growl and presence that can help a bass line stand out. The bass wah is brilliant for adding character to bass lines without compromising the low end that's so important in a mix. What makes these wahs particularly powerful is how they integrate with the rest of your signal chain. The placement of your wah in the signal chain dramatically affects its character. Before gain, the wah shapes what frequencies hit your amp or overdrive. Right now, I've got the crying wah going into the Brit 2555. <laughs> Placing the wah after distortion shapes the already distorted signal for a different effect altogether. I've set my signal chain up with a rodent drive into a crying Clyde wah with the Comet 60 capture for my amp tone. All the gain is coming from the rodent drive. First, let's hear this tone without the wah engaged. <laughs> Now let's engage the Crying Clyde wah and hear how it filters the distorted signal from the rodent drive. This can give you a more synth-like quality that works great for textural sounds. These four new wahs in Nano S 2.0 bring incredibly versatile expression options to your Nano Cortex. Each one has its own unique character and sweet spot. The Crying Wah for that classic rock sound, the Crying Clyde for expressive leads, the Bubba Wah for smoother, more musical sweeps, and the Bass Wah specifically for bass. With an expression pedal connected to your Nano Cortex, you'll have immediate hands-free control over these wahs, just like using a traditional wah pedal. Make sure to update your Nano Cortex through the Cortex Cloud app to access these new WARs. Stay tuned for more videos exploring the other new features in Nano S 2.0. I'm John Connor with Neural DSP. Thanks for watching.